think I ever imagined I'd be standing with a minivan behind me. There's just so many emotions, but I can't believe it. A bobby pin to car keys. The concept pretty much is you start with something really small. So in my case, I've started with the bobby pin and I trade for something a little bit better or maybe something that is maybe a little bit more usable. The goal is a house. I think when I set off to do this goal, I thought, what is the smallest thing I could own, which was a bobby pin, and what was the largest thing I could own, and it was a house. And now that I'm getting closer, it, it is just shocking. I think, I, I didn't realize how real this was gonna become until now. I'm gonna be excited the next trade and the next trade, and we'll see what happens. I think at the beginning, I was like, this is gonna be a really fun adventure during COVID. There wasn't a lot going on. There was a lot of bad news. And I thought, you know, let's do something fun. I think every step of the way, I've been saying, this is incredible. This is the best it's gonna get. And being shocked by that one trade. And then every trade, it just continues. The first thing was the bobby pin for a pair of earrings. And the girl with the earrings had never worn them. She didn't like them. She didn't want to use them, but she could use a bobby pin. So she took the bobby pin, I took the earrings. and. From then, it's just been on and on, smaller and smaller things. I was recording originally just for myself. So just to track the progress on my own, to remember what I had traded, remember the friendships that I'd made. And then within a week, I had a million followers and I was amazed. And then with two weeks, it was two million followers. And now I'm at three and a half million followers. And it doesn't look like it's stopping. I'm kind of like a TikTok addict. So I always watch TikTok and she just happened to show up on my page one day. So my husband doesn't normally like TikTok, but I told him about her story and he was like really curious about it. So he like watched all of her videos. And he's like, this is like super cool. She was just showing me the videos and I was like, you know, uh, it would be cool if we can be a part of something like that. So we traded our car for an iPhone. The drive was like 31 hours, so that's, but it went pretty good. I've heard a lot of stories, I've met a lot of really amazing people, and I think, honestly, these are longtime friends now. I think I've talked to them every day this week for hours on end. I think it's just shocking to see other people resonate with the idea and have other people really interested in doing their own Trade Me projects. and. I've seen things in Germany, in Singapore, all over the world seems to be doing their own projects now, which is really exciting. I get questions all the time. Where is the house gonna be? What kind of house is it gonna be? And I think the big thing for me is I don't really care what kind of house it's gonna be. I'm excited to potentially donate the house in the future. I hope to follow her journey all the way to the end. I hope she gets to her goal because that would be really fun to watch.